The King's Mistresses, The Liberated Lives of Marie Mancini, Princess Kalana, by Elizabeth C. Goldsmith is a captivating exploration of the lives of two remarkable women who defied societal norms and forged their own paths in a world dominated by men. Through meticulous research and engaging prose, Goldsmith delves into the complex lives of Marie Mancini and Princess Kalana, shedding light on their struggles, triumphs, and the lasting impact they had on European history. Goldsmith begins by introducing the reader to Marie Mancini, a beautiful and intelligent woman born into a prominent Italian family. Mancini's story unfolds against the backdrop of the French court, where her uncle, Cardinal Mazarin, holds immense power as the chief minister to King Louis XIV. Through her uncle's influence, Marie becomes a part of the French court, a place teeming with political intrigue and personal rivalries. Despite the constraints placed upon her as a woman, Marie exhibits a fierce determination to shape her own destiny. The author highlights Marie's intellectual pursuits and her deep love for literature and philosophy. These passions not only enrich her personal life but also enable her to form close connections with influential figures of the time, including the renowned philosopher René Descartes. Goldsmith skillfully weaves together Marie's intellectual pursuits and her romantic relationships, revealing the multifaceted nature of her character. Another significant figure in the book is Princess Kalana, Marie's sister, whose life takes a different trajectory. Unlike Marie, Kalana embraces a more traditional role as a wife and mother. However, this does not diminish her impact on history. Goldsmith elucidates Kalana's political acumen and her role as a trusted advisor to her husband, Prince Kalana. Through her husband's position, Kalana exerts influence and exercises power, demonstrating that women could wield considerable authority, albeit indirectly, even within the confines of their prescribed roles. Goldsmith's meticulous research is evident in her portrayal of the broader historical context in which these women lived. She provides rich details about the political machinations of the time, the social expectations placed on women, and the complex dynamics of court life. By immersing the reader in this vivid historical setting, Goldsmith deepens our understanding of the challenges faced by Marie and Kalana, as well as the choices they made to navigate a world that sought to confine them. One of the book's strengths lies in Goldsmith's nuanced examination of the impact of the king's mistresses on the political landscape. While Marie and Kalana may not have held official positions of power, their close relationships with influential men allowed them to exert considerable influence behind the scenes. Goldsmith's analysis sheds light on the subtle ways in which these women shaped political decisions and influenced the course of history. The King's Mistresses is a testament to the resilience and agency of women in the face of societal constraints. Goldsmith masterfully brings to life the stories of Marie Mancini and Princess Kalana, illuminating their struggles and triumphs while painting a vivid picture of the world they inhabited. Through her meticulous research and engaging narrative, Goldsmith invites readers to reevaluate traditional narratives of power and explore the often overlooked contributions of women throughout history.